we should have sunshine today. That's at least according to Whitney. He'll have details coming up. Well, if there is one topic that's talked about, argued over, or written about year-round, it's dieting. And believe it or not, no matter what plan you follow, there is a way to do it so that you do not offend. And here to tell us what all of that means is our etiquette expert, Elaine Swan. What a fun little topic here yes. that everybody can relate to. I think we all can. Okay, first off, let's talk about tips for friends of the dieter. Right. As far as the friends are concerned, you want to avoid asking the person about their weight loss. If someone has told you that they're dieting, your question to them is not always, have you lost? How many pounds have you lost? Because if they haven't been meeting their goals, then that can also be a discouragement. Okay. So you definitely want to do that. Um, be encouraging, compliment the dieter, dieter, and be sensitive to be, their choices. Exactly. Be encouraging to them. That means you don't have to lie and say, oh, you look like you're losing weight if they're not. But a lot of times when people are dieting, they're eating healthier, they're probably exercising and drinking more water. So they may look different or be more energetic. So you can compliment them on things like that. And so you say you look good yes, today. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. And be truthful. You don't have to lie. And be sensitive to their meal choices as well. Um, if they are eating specific things, don't say, oh, you're only eating that. Eat this or let's go to McDonald's. And if you do go to McDonald's and they choose to just maybe get a salad and you're going to go ahead and go for the traditional thing, and I'm just using that as an example, mm -hmm. encourage them. Don't try to get them to eat what you're eating, especially if you know they're dieting. Okay, and for kids, they need to keep this next advice, though, in perspective, though. Parents, do not force your children to eat or clean their plates. Exactly. Now, I get what you mean on this, but, you know, some kid's going to use that as an excuse. I, you know, well, not I don't ne want necessarily. I'm more so referring to the adult parent, the parents who of adult children. We go home for the holidays or we go oh, home to I visit see what our you parents, mean. Okay. and gotcha. they want to feed us the high-calorie meals that we grew up That's on. Right. And you're saying, Mom, come on, I'm really trying to do this. So for the ones who have adult children, be sensitive to that, Mom and dads. <laughs> okay, and really quickly on this one, spouses, be supportive. Be supportive as yeah. far as the spouses. Get with the program. If your husband... Yeah, they have to eat that same food too? Possibly so, or if not, don't discourage them by saying, I'm not going to eat that. But if they're eating healthier, you might want to just go ahead and get with the program and, and eat healthier as well. Oh, Does that mean wild. you have to eat everything they do? No. But support them. Okay. <laughs> you might end up coming out healthier. You that's know? true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, now tips for the dieter themselves. The smell factor in the food, that can pretty much relate to anybody Anyone, around Anyone, especially right? in an office environment. If, you bring, if you're bringing your, your food home, I mean to, to work, and you're doing, for example, the cabbage diet, you don't want to stink up the entire <laughs> office with your cabbages in the microwave or fish uh -huh. that we were talking about earlier, anything yeah. like that. You just have to be sensitive to the people who are around you. Okay, and don't oppose your dietary restrictions. Just because you're on a diet doesn't mean everybody else around you exactly. needs to be. Exactly, and if you have friends around you who probably need to be on a diet as well, it may not be their time, so don't force them and don't criticize them and say, you know, I'm on a diet, so you should be too. Don't, it, that's as far as the dieter is concerned. And when you said, you know, let other people know around you that, that you are on a diet, do it sort of gently, though. Don't you do just it gently, make an yeah. announcement. For example, say you all decide you're going to go out on Friday and you're going to your favorite restaurant. Let them know, hey, you guys, yeah. you know what, I'm on a diet, so I'm going to probably not stick with the same traditional stuff that we eat. Let them know, so that way they're they not forcing you. Yeah. Have dessert, have dessert. So if you let people know, then they'll be sensitive to you. Okay. Elaine Swan, thanks very much. Also, we want to remind everybody that you are indeed author of this cool book, Girls Have Style at School. There's a book signing Saturday, March 4th, that's this weekend, at Jitters Coffee in Oceanside. And to find out more, log on to our website at NBCSanDiego.com and click on the Learn More icon. And to you, Elaine Swan, as always, what a delight. Can't wait to your next topic. Okay, wonderful. Right. Thank you for having me. All right, thanks. And Whitney, over to you for a look at the weather forecast.